Hi, my name is Thomas Kim. In this session of video, we will implement include include feature in our scripting language using Python and Plex. To follow with me, you have to download two source code. This is my YouTube channel, and you have to uh, uh, follow the link in the description section below. I will put description section. I will put two links in description sections of this video. And you have to visit this website, this YouTube web, YouTube video. And the title of this YouTube video is how to implement include using Python and Plex to 1 over 2 non reentrant. You have to click this link to download. And also you have to uh, download uh, another source file here from this link and the title of this video is how to implement the stack data structure after downloading two files one from here another from here two files will be downloaded on your download folder then unzip them like this unzip them and also unzip unzip like this then we will change its name Hold the name like this, rename, uh, include the file input with the stack, stack solution, rename like this, and in stack solution, here, here copy this TMP stack, copy this file, and here, no, here, put this file to this folder paste like this then copy this solution this folder copy to your working folder here paste like this paste Folder name will be include file input with the stack solution. In your Visual Studio, open the file, open the solution. This is include file input with the stack solution. Open the solution. This is our previous uh, source code for include feature in Lex and Plex. Let's preview what we will learn, what we will learn in this session of video. First, we will learn how to use a stack. Using stack is very important. To how to implement the stack is actually I I filmed about how to implement the stack in this video. I will put the link of this uh, how to implement the stack data structure. I will put the link in the description section. In this session, we will first learn how to use the stack. Then we will we will use we will also learn how to pass parameters to Lex and YY pass. Actually, I already filmed about how to pass parameters to YY Lex and YY pass in these two videos. So I will also put the links to links in the description sections and lastly we we will learn how to build exception safe c++ application in this video also lastly most important last but not the least properly implement include feature in our scripting language so in this is my previous video how to implement include using bison and plex this is the, the last uh, video about inc implementing include features. This is for non-reentrant, non-reentrant parser. In future video, I will implement uh, the entrant, uh, include feature for the entrant parser. Okay, let's get started. This is our last uh, uh, source files. I will rebuild for testing purpose. Right click, rebuild. We haven't changed anything yet. Okay, so 
rebuild was successful. This is the state of our last uh, program. Now here, what becomes problem is this. This is not thread safe alpha file. And also we used include uh, also here. This, this also becomes problematic and these two also become prob problematic because these are not thread, not uh, exception safe. This code is not exception safe. So we have to make it in, into exception safe. Uh, before do that, I will include header file here, add existing item. So this is the stack template uh, implementation. We I implemented this file long ago, and also filmed how we implement how I implemented this stack data structure. About this, you can watch my previous video. Say here how to implement the stack data structure in this video. You can watch how I implemented. Uh, this is how. Let's see. This video is how to implement the stack data structure. You have to watch this video. So I will first make it, I will close it. I will first uh, consider two things about the input file. And then we will, first we will address these issues, this issue. So before we do that, we will create, we will add one class here, right click, add. Uh, class here C plus plus. I will say C file manager. C file manager. I will name like this. Then finish. Okay, we added the C file manager here. Save it here. We will include. C Studio, uh, C Studio, C Studio, and I will also include TMP stack like this, and we will declare extern file pointer yy in. This is actually defined defined in yy yy. Lexus CPP, it will be defined in YY Lexus CPP by, by Plex. And we, we need another one, extern, file, YY out. Defined in YY Lexus CPP by Plex. Okay. We declared it. Now we put two, two public, uh, private file mp input file like this another one file m mp output file i added two private instance like this and i will include stack stack uh, file m includes. I will use it uh, very soon. This stack structure. This stack structure is actually defined here, like this. See uh, peak definition, go to definition. Then this is actually included in TMP stack H. Here we c we implemented the stack data structure in my previous video. So I will close it. Now first we will I will handle about input file to and we will, we need to modify this this path because we added the two uh, members here. To let's see here double click it mp input file null ptr mp 
out file sorry output file null ptr we can actually do like this instead of using or we can just do like this or simply okay I will just do like this save them all save all then I will put it side side, side by side so we we initialized it here then in public section here I will implement file get input file and constant then another one is void set input file constant character file name then uh, get info file set info file and close info file void close input file okay we will implement these one by one copy them I will first copy this one here its implementation is simple return this input file so we did this now I'm going to implement this set input file copy this this portion here save all save all here we need to copy we need to copy this part no no not this part uh, this part okay copy paste so this this should be should be fixed like this m input file like this and copy copy once again okay it's done save it now close close in close file copy this one here like this then here you are simply copying this code this should be this m input file you can say null ptr now we saved them now here once again I will copy all three in instance I will copy this like this now I will change it to output output file output file output file I saved them now here I copy like this you have new mail 
I copy and paste it. I name it output file. Output file. And it should be output file. And it also should be output. And it should be output. It should be output. And here, output file. It should be output. Now save them all. So we basically we basically implemented six files like this. Now we have to update to C file manager destructor. Here we say close uh, input file close output file save them at this point let's try to build this file manager cpp control f7 so we have error message here uh, we have to change it here, std, and once again, std, save, save them, and control F7 again, select this file manager, select control F7. We have to include IO stream. Uh, we can put IO stream here in this file. Okay. Now build it once again. Okay, it compiles. It compiles successfully. Now here in lexo lex l in this file in lex lexical scanner here we have to include include file manager h we saved it now we are not going to use this input file so we disable it we delete it and we also don't need it we delete it save them all scroll down we don't need this I will just delete I will disable this save all you can actually delete this code and now before, before we progress, we have to make some settings. Uh, parameter passing, we have to change it in while I pass here too. We will include file manager h save this and here we are going to add here we are going to add uh, pass pass p a r a m square bracket uh, curly brace c file manager star fm this is c file manager this class C file manager. We are passing C file manager as parameter to YY pass like this. Then we can put another one. Lex P 
tarim c file manager fm save this then try to build build this file first compile okay it compiled and try to this build compile and we have error message saying yy lex function does not take one argument double click it so it, we are passing we are passing yy lex l parameter one this parameter to fix this we have to change this code here uh, c file manager fm we have to fix like this or actually we also have to make more more changes here let's say here uh, right after we are defining de define here yy decl int yy lex c file manager fm like this you also have to make this code now go back here we have to make another change here it should be c file manager fm and we also have to fix this code this is implemented in here here so it should be c file manager fm like this and we also have to change here c file manager fm and of course we have to in we have to include uh, file manager now now compile now let's build rebuild so identifier not found here we d we deleted we delete we disabled here and i will delete save we will actually fix this code later and another thing close include the file close input file another one here close input file I disabled them now let's rebuild yy pass here we have to create an instance c file manager fm like this and we will also make changes here instead of this we will do like this fm set input file also here fm set input file fm set alpha file like this then we are sending fm please remember this then save we since we don't have this we don't need this we delete save now rebuild okay successful before we uh, test it we, we I want to make sure a few things here we deleted it
and I will also delete it here and all other things include okay and I will also remove them remove this code I saved and the parser from here mm, we don't need this anyway now save it here I'm going to fix it like this fm fm get output file like this because fm is passed as parameter save for easier reading now we don't need we don't need t these two files I will delete them I delete it and here in source file we deleted all these files and this is okay let's see now rebuild all okay everything built now let's try it this file, this folder is Python Plex here, include with the step release. This is our previous code here. CD. Okay. Uh, before we do this, let's test with our previous samples open okay sample sample 1 sample 2 okay we will test this like this hello Python flex app I will try if it works as is expected then sample txt okay it works but uh, there is now we are changing to implement using stack here now now we will change we will change it to we will disable it. Let's see. We will disable it. Instead of this, we will uh, we will implement this. How to do that? Let's see. I will add two files. In file manager I will create push pop and size then one more I will implement these functions one by one push pop size clean up okay Let's copy them. I paste it.
Now we are copying. We copy class header. Save it. Then push in Lexer. This is Lexer file. We copy this code. We copy this code here. I will create a temporary pylon file. P include file like this. And this is null PTR initially. Then we set um, here. Then we need to push it this m stack include the file push. Okay, p include file like this. So then we return true. As return pulse. Here it should be file name. Save. Now we implemented push. So we will change this code. We'll change this part like this. Here. FM push YY text. Then because this code is already set here, we don't need it. Okay, so I fixed like this. Save it, save it. I saved. And in here, we actually don't need this. We'll delete it. And also here, pop state if fm size so we have to implement fm size fm size is simple return uh, this m includes size it can be constant i fixed it like this then I also have to fix here constant then okay I fixed coming back to Lexa L here we are popping FM pop. So we have to implement a pen pop here. This is simple. F close, file close, this, M, includes pop. It actually tends file pointer at the top of the step. Save this. Also, you should know that it can throw. This function actually can throw, so we have to catch exception. Save it. Now terminate. 
we fixed all like this now build once again we missed succeed but uh, I think we also need to fix here uh, what should we fix and also source Mm, because it can throw this path can throw we have to try sorry okay and we can put it here catch mm. this pop function throws stack here if you see stack it can throw read stack empty this exception stack file pointer e it should be type name probably you can say std c error mm. error in error in stack file I say file manager error in file manager e what std and there So I saved them all. You can now return RLT like this. Mm. Or we can put it minus one for error. Now rebuild. Okay, now let's try. it works let's put some error here syntax error we are making syn syntax error this is syntax error okay it is all saved after making syntax error let's see what happens stack is not empty two elements it gives syntax error like message like this and we can also fix one more way impact here in the destructor clean up include the files I will fix it, clean up, include the files. We haven't implemented it. If this m includes size is not, it means not zero, then we can put error message.
here. Okay. Why? Size. You can say this pop. This is actually calling this function. This function. So save them. Now rebuild. Okay. Now test it. Two files are closed, not closed. Now closing gracefully. Okay. So this way we can we can if we fix the error, syntax error, it runs as expected. If we put syntax error here, if we put syntax error, then it handles now closing gracefully. It handles the resource properly even, even when the syntax error was detected in include file. So this, this, is, this file is heavily included. First, this file is included. And then this file, this file includes this file. So when the syntax error was detected, this program properly handles properly handles the resource without leaking resources. This way we can use the stack. We can use the stack. We implemented we used the stack properly in this video and how to use them uh, in resource safe uh, exception safe way. This, this video can be a little bit challenging, but if you follow my links in the description section, you can understand. Thank you for watching.